So recently we've had several inquiries on how to make our happy little ladies clutch kit. Um, so I, we figured we'd do a short instructional video for you to kind of let you wrap your head around it. So you start out with these uh, components in the clutch kit. You got your two vegetable tan clutch backs and then for the ladies deluxe, deluxe clutch kit you'll have two kid skin liners with an ID window sewn onto one of them. Before you start doing any gluing, the first thing you want to do is tool and finish your happy little vegetable tan clutch backs any way you like to. And once you get them tool and, tooled and finished, you'll want to go ahead and glue on your kid skin liners, one onto each. And once you get that done, you can take your pocket assembly that you'll get in your kit and the deluxe kit glue it onto the back with the ID window and once you have this one glued you'll skive opposing edges of the clutch back with this kid skin <coughs> on it and roll the edges a quarter inch on both sides and that will bring us to this stage So, I've got my edges rolled and sewed down on this back. I've got my pocket assembly glued down and my with the ID window piece and both of my backs are tooled and finished however I want. So we're ready to move on to the next steps. On the piece with the rolled edges, this is going to end up being the back pocket. This will end up being your front pockets. So. These being your front pockets, I've already got basting tape or double-sided tape on each of them. You can use contacts, <coughs> contacts men if you need to. We're going to go ahead and stick down the shorter pocket with the taller middle. Right onto the top edge with the corners just barely on the top edge. Once you get that taped down or glued down, then we're going to use about an eighth inch seam allowance. We're going to stitch just across the bo <clears throat> bottom of this pocket. All right. Once we have our lovely little stitch all the way across the bottom of the first pocket, we will peel the tape of the second pocket. apply contact cement where necessary and line up the top two corners with the first pocket. And this pocket is going to be a little bit taller so you, it's going to hang off about a quarter of an inch and we'll run another stitch line with about an eighth inch seam allowance all the way across the bottom of this one. Alright, once we have our lovely stitch across the bottom of the second pocket. We're going to go ahead and take a silver marking pen and mark the center of both pockets right in the notch at the bottom. And then I'll usually measure across the back which is seven and three quarters. So make a mark at three and seven eighths which is halfway. Take your handy dandy ruler, straight edge, and really lightly mark a line just right down the center and it'll serve as a nice little guide for your stitch to divide the pockets so you'll have four credit card pockets that'll end up on the front of the clutch. All right, once we have our stitch down the center of the two pockets, we're ready to flip it over and attach the two clutch backs. So what we'll do is we'll flip it over and I'm gonna measure three and one eighth inch from this top edge of the rolled edge down to the middle of the clutch back. Now it's not going to end up right in the middle, but it's pretty close. Three and 
and eight. Lightly mark a line. And again, that's from this edge right here. Don't get it confused with this edge where the pockets are. This is going to be end up being your back, back pocket right here. And then you're going to end up attaching your other clutch back like so. Make sure the edges are flush and you're just covering that line with the bottom of this clutch back. Once you do that and you have them glued together, you're going to flip it over and I'll usually measure three inches from the top of this edge down and that's going to be your stitch line and you can stitch it from this size so you'll have a finished stitch on the outside of the clutch and you'll catch right across the bottom of this piece. And usually I'll put tape across this bottom edge and it's just easier to tape that instead of trying to spread an even line and glue across this line. If you're using contact cement you won't have to have it on both surfaces. This is where the cowboy people come in. That's right. Cowboy. Watching the glue dry. Yeah. Now once our glue is tacky, we'll go ahead and stick our back down. Let's see. Just like so. <laughs> Making sure the edges are flush. And we're just covering that silver line that we made. Now when the clutch is finished, you usually won't see this bottom edge right here. I went ahead and put some uh, black ink wax, or you can use black edge coat or paint, across it, just in case there's a little bit of visibility. Now once I have that stuck down, I'll go ahead and make that stitch across the bottom. Now that we have our stitch across the bottom, which we stitched from this side, so you'll have a finished stitch on the outside of the clutch, that's where this little handy piece comes into play. Now it's got these two gusset flaps on the side, your zipper on the top. Now these gusset flaps, you want to apply glue, about a quarter inch line of glue on the inside edge of all four of these gusset straps here. You can kind of train the leather and get it folded back to where it'll stay open and the glue will dry. So when the clutch is finished, they'll be folded back like this anyhow. Just kind of bend those back, go ahead and spread glue there, and then spread a line of glue here and here, and we'll go ahead and we'll be sticking this down like so. All right, now that our glue is nice and tacky, We'll go ahead and stick down our gusset flaps. Make sure your, your zipper is facing the rolled edge here so you don't end up with your zipper pocket upside down. Go ahead and put the flap almost flush with the top edge of the, the rolled edge there. And make sure the rest of the flap is flush, flush with this edge on the back. Make sure that sticks down pretty well. You come over to the other side, stick down this flap in the same manner. Once you've got that good and stuck down, you can even hammer on it a little bit if you want to. Make sure it stays put. We're going to come over to this side. I like to mark my seam allowance. We're going to add about an eighth of an inch, maybe a little bit further in. And you're going to stitch starting from the top all the way down and straight off the pocket onto the back to about right there just about to your next stitch that goes horizontally across the backs. All the way down to there. All the way up to there. 
Now, once you get towards the top of both of these, you're going to have to be careful. It gets a little bit thick, and with this being back here, it has a tendency to cause, uh, if you're sewing with a machine, cause the needle to blow out and, you're, and you'll miss this gusset. So you just got to be kind of careful with it, work it in such a way that it's going to stay flat on the bed. If you're hand stitching it, just be careful punching through it because it's going to be a little bit tricky to get them to go through all, all those layers and stay in the right spot. Alright, now that we've got our two happy little side stitches uh, here and here, connecting the gusset on, now is as good a time as any to go ahead and stitch starting from the back pocket and just go right around the top of your clutch. This will be the flap of your clutch once it's finished. And I'll usually use about an eighth inch seam allowance again. Just go all the way around it. All the way down to that pocket there. this around the top edge or the flap of our clutch We're ready to go ahead and we've already applied glue to the inside of our gusset flaps and we're going to apply glue down the sides of our pocket assembly your gusset flap should line up right with the top corner of your pocket assembly and come all the way down to the bottom right there and there Now that our glue is nice and tacky along the edges and on our gusset flaps, we're going to go ahead and roll it over, stick our gusset flaps down, try to be sure to keep it flush with the edges of the clutch back. Alright, just make sure those stick down the best that you can. Now if you'll be using a machine to stitch you're gonna come down here and you're gonna have to peel this back the best you can and put the, the presser foot of your machine as far back in this little corner as you can. And you're gonna stitch all the way up and just right off connecting to that other stitch. On this side you'll be doing the same thing. You can just start from the top, come all the way down to there. Be sure if your edges aren't perfectly flush whenever you glue all of your parts on there. Go ahead and take it to the sander or finisher or hand sand it or trimmer or whatever you have to do to get it flush. That way you have no chance of your stitches blowing out the edge. Alright, now that we've sewn our gusset flaps on here and right here, um, that pretty well completes the clutch. Um, besides that, you can figure out uh, whatever style of closure you'd like to use. Uh, we've done snaps in the corners going through just this front pocket here and here, snapping down here and here. And we've done strap closures uh, coming from the back pocket all the way around to the front. Pretty much any style you like. Turns out to be a happy little clutch.